Hi, the Sultan of Silver here with you with business breakthrough disruptive technology video number two. Someone, when I was entering the field of professional speaking, when I was actually traveling and being on stage and being on camera and getting paid for it long before the YouTube days, somebody told me something. They, they said a statement to me that changed my life. You know me, you know me because of this statement. The person said niche and grow rich. And of course the real pronunciation of niche is niche, but for rhyming purposes, or should I say niche and grow rich. <laughs> Niche and grow rich, which means specialize in something. One thing, specialize in it, and become known for that one thing. Let me give you a niche and grow rich story. Number one, I know a guy who was president of the National Speakers Association, the Liberty Bell chapter in Philadelphia. Phenomenal public speaker, great presenter, slideshows, inspiring, the whole bit, excellent travels for a living. Who does he speak to? Rather than being the motivational teaching speaker for everybody, he found a niche. How Niche down. Niche down. He decided to speak on customer service. A niche. Out of all the topics he could choose, he chose customer service. Niche down even more. Who did he provide or who does he provide his niche choice to? The HVAC industry, HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. He is known internationally as the customer service expert within the HVAC industry. You don't get much more specialized than that. He is on the road constantly making a great living. Niche down. The more specific you get, the more people are going to know you in that industry. You don't want to be too broad. Think about this. Is niching down a good choice for your business? For those of you that are in the beard product business, beard products, I have noticed that when I had a dark beard, any kind of product worked. When I became older, and I'm closer to 60 than 50 now, my hair and beard turned white. I can't use the average beard products because they discolor my beard. Be beeswax is yellow. Most most oil, beard oils, are yellow. So I need things that are white or pretty darn light colored, or they add a tinge uh, uh, of color to my beard, which doesn't work really well for me. What if you became the white beard expert? You might say, well, there's not enough people. Like heck there isn't. Everybody, everybody, I should say 99% of the people end up with gray. Many out of that 90%, I'd say then maybe 70 go all white or all gray. Many people stay salt and pepper till they die. Many men. But think about the market of white hair and white bearded people. What if your business was silver wolf, polar bear? Think of an Arctic name or something like that and you only provided products for gray, silver, and white hair. You know me as the Sultan of Silver, not because of my silver hair and beard. It's because I worked with gray, silver, and white-haired women. That's how I got the nickname, not because of my own hair, but because who I chose to specialize in and known worldwide for that. There's not a lot of people in the world. Think about this. I was the only person in the world who specialized in gray, silver, and white hair. Niche and grow rich. 
Every time you want to create a new fortune for yourself, niche down and grow rich. Think about that. Business brainstorming disruptive technology. Number two, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, ask down below. Email me, gb at georgebruno.com. Like the video. Forward this video to people who you think would appreciate it. If you want to contribute to the channel, there's also links to do that. If, you, if this is valuable information for you in business, contribute what you feel it's worth. I can't wait to tell you number three. I hope that helps. Have a good day.